Aloha everyone, this is Max with Asian Geek Squad and today we are here with our day 2 video with the Fitbit Versa 3. Today we're going to cover phone calls, SMS slash texting and also navigating your device. And don't forget to subscribe because tomorrow we'll be doing our step count and GPS test. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. First up, I want to start with a phone call. One thing you'll notice is your phone can't be on silent. So right now the phone is on silent and it's ringing but we're not getting any notification from our watch. So if you want any notification, your phone cannot be on silent. So now we're going to get a text message on our phone. It's still on silent but we get no notifications on our Fitbit Versa 3. And just to confirm, we got a missed call and a text message and our phone is currently on silent. Let's go ahead and take this out of silent mode. Now let's try that again. Here's our incoming phone call. And now our watch is vibrating and you can either decline or answer the call. If you answer the call, you'll have to pick it up from your phone. One annoying thing is your screensaver kind of goes off even if your phone call is going on. Mildly annoying. Another thing is you can't reply via quick text. So you either hang up or pick up the phone call. Now let's go ahead and try texting. We just received it on our phone. Here's a notification from our watch. You can go ahead and tap on it. And you have three different options. One is using your voice, which we will do shortly, and it's only available on Android. Next is your preset messages, your quick replies. And the third one here is your emojis. Now let's try replying with voice. Hey, give me a call when you get a chance. I'm busy right now. So it's pretty quick and so far pretty accurate. However, it does have trouble with Hawaiian words. Hey, I'm at Ala Moana Beach right now. I'll call you later. So almost there. It got Moana right, but Ala, A-L-A, is not there. But not bad at all. If you send that, I'm sure people will understand what you're doing. So that's a quick look at phone calls and texting. Just make sure your phone is on and not on silent, and you'll get your notifications on your watch. Now let's go ahead and move on to navigation. Navigating your device. If it's here on sleep mode with the always on display, you have to wake it up. You can do it by tapping on the screen or pressing on the home button. Once it's awake, you can go ahead and navigate. Let's go ahead and swipe left to access your apps. Now you can't delete any of these, but you can reorder them. All you have to do is tap and hold, and you can move these around. If you want to install more applications, you'll do it from your Fitbit application on your phone. To go back, swipe all the way to the left, or you can press on the button to take you home. Now let's look at our notifications. So missed a few phone calls here. If you tap on one of these missed calls, you can send a quick message. Or you can also send a quick emoji or a call back. If you swipe down, you have the option of clearing this individual notification. With SMS here on your notification screen, we have the same options as before, sending a voice message, quick text, or emoji. If you want to clear, go ahead and swipe all the way to the top and tap clear all. Now let's go ahead and check out our widgets. You swipe up from the bottom and here it'll give you your information for what's going on today. So for me, we have the weather, step count so far, and you can tap on manage if you want to add or remove more information. So here we can add relax, advanced stats, or Fitbit logging. Let's add the advanced stats and tap on done. Now we have more pertinent information, heart rate, hourly activity, exercise, food, and sleep. If you want to reorder these, just tap manage again, and we'll drag the advanced stats and put it all the way to the top. So advanced stats now is on top, and let's go ahead and tap on done. To double check, we swipe up and here is my advanced stats. So next up, let's swipe right and you'll access your quick settings. Here are your six quick settings. They're pretty important. Upper left is do not disturb. Once you turn it on, calls and notifications are muted. Next up is sleep mode. This one here is your brightness. So you have three options, dim, normal, and max. This one on the lower right is your always on display. I'll leave mine's enabled. The one next to that is screen wake. So you can leave it on manual or you can turn it on for automatic. And finally here on the right, that is your controlling your music volume if you're playing music. 
Now one thing I wish they had is water lock mode. So if you're swimming or you're taking a shower, you can just turn on water lock. This device does not have that feature. So one quick tip I wanted to share with you guys today is the button has different functions. One is of course going home once you tap it, but you can also hold it. So for me, I have it to launch quick settings, but you can also customize this. Go into settings, tap on shortcuts, and here it'll say press and hold. And currently I have it on quick settings and you can switch it to an app that's currently installed or also an exercise. So I'll leave mine for quick settings. So another trick here, we had press and hold. Now we have double press. And basically you would double press the left button and you can customize the four icons that pop up. So I'll just leave the default on top left music, top right quick settings, Alexa and payments. To activate it, just double tap and you have your four quick settings. To be honest, for me, this has been really hit and miss, but I find that if you double tap quickly, most of the time it works. It just takes some getting used to, and it doesn't help that there's no physical button. So I find myself almost kind of mashing it until I get it. All right, there it goes. All right, guys, well, that's a quick video on phone calls, texting, navigating, and shortcuts. Hopefully that was helpful. If you guys have any questions, leave us a comment down below. Thank you guys for watching. Aloha.